Hi guys, welcome back. I am here today to share my December Daily 2021 foundation pages so far. So over this past weekend, I participated in the prep party. I'm also in the product play workshop. So I've been getting inspiration from all of that, but to be honest, I've only made one page since all of that has happened foundation page wise. I started my foundation pages last month in the October, September, not October. And I got super excited, did a bunch of stuff. And then I finally got my Allie Edwards product and had been super busy. And then I had the prep party, which I was so excited about, but I was out of town. I did pack a little kit of stuff to work on it, but I only ended up working on really one page or one layout item. So I will show you that first, but this is my album. It's a six by eight album. I really don't remember where it's from. I want to say it's my mind's eye. I don't know. I got it on a cherry on top and I will link below the haul video where I share the information about that. I don't remember where it's from. But anyways, so this is the page. I'll actually take it out that I made during the prep party weekend or whatever event. So it's the Allie Edwards um, envelopes kit. This is the little vellum one. And then one of her acetate plastic frames. And then that's the wood veneer. And then I have some paper. This is a fabric fray sticker. And then this is actually just taped down with washi tape. So I'm able to add, I want to add a photo inside of there. So I just have it secured with washi tape so it doesn't get damaged, but it's still removable. And then inside I just have this little paper. So I think I'm going to do like a photo, a long photo on the back, maybe journaling. I'm thinking like printing it and ripping it up in strips or cutting it into strips and having it fall down like that. I'm a patron for Leilani Scraps. I follow her Patreon and she does that a lot. She did a ton in her October daily and I love the way it looked and like filled up the space. So maybe I'll print it on like a piece of colored paper or something. Anyway, so that is that and I'm really excited about this little thing. But that is really all I've made since all the Ali Edwards stuff has arrived since I've been a part of those workshops and things, but I love the way it turned out. I just haven't made a ton of other things since. So the rest of it is stuff I did in October, and a lot of it is just me storing things that I want to use or hope to use. It's not all necessarily like done, completed stuff. So this first page is a six, four by six page protector that I added some pom-pom trim on, and it's holding something right now, but it's not gonna permanently be like that. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside here, but I just had the idea of adding the trim to the edge. So this is another little thing I created. It's just being held together by a little paper clip, but it is a three by four pop out card thing. So it, it's like a, uh, what is that called? I can't think of the word, but I did a little bit of embellishing on it. And then I stuck some tags in here that I thought I might use. Uh, this little phrase jingle might go here. I don't know. I honestly don't even know if I will use this this year because the color scheme is really muted compared to everything else I've done. This is just my first try using a stencil and texture paste. But yeah, so I just stuck a few random things in here. But nothing is set in stone for sure. This is just stuck in here right now. And it was a fun little project. I added like a scalloped border and it's just red on the back. But, you know, I could stick photos in there, I could stick tags, journaling, whatever. But that is just a little idea. So it's just being stored in here. And I haven't really recorded videos for any of these for process-wise. And if there's anything you really are interested in, definitely let me know. And I can see about, like, remaking it for a process video. These are vellum, right? Wax paper, vellum? I don't know. Uh, envelopes I got at Hobby Lobby. No. Yes, Hobby Lobby. And it's just holding all of these phrase, word phrase things I might use. So this is from a Thicker's like foam sticker sheet. This is magical. Family and love are from Hobby Lobby and they're just acrylic with adhesive on the back words. And then this joy is from Redefine Creative. So I won't necessarily use all of these, but I thought they were cute. And I wanted to like have the stuff I was excited about using right in front of my face so that I remember to use it. But I could use, you know, some of those words in different albums for sure. It's just here for now. And this is already kind of getting a little torn up. So we'll see if this envelope stays in there. And then I have this, which is just like a pack of cards I got. 
in their just countdown. I don't know how or if I will use them, but I just stuck them in here for now. And they're double-sided. This is a page I kind of started thinking about. I have a list of ING words. And then I was thinking of like stamping or circling the date and just doing kind of like a red and black theme. So there's this little tag. And then I've collected all these different little embellishments of making, I'm thinking of making a little shaker pocket out of this card and maybe putting like the number in here. I don't know. And then the reverse, I want to include the shaker pocket again and then this tag. And this back of this card is pink. So I'm going to do like a pink and red theme on this side. So that's like kind of thought out. Then the rest is a lot of just cards that I liked that I put out. So this was a from like a harvest, like fall camping collection, but I just put a little red puffy, what is that called? Pom pom to make it look like a little reindeer. And then just black and white. That was my favorite. Making messes of what we do best. So like maybe on unwrapping presents or making like cookies or something. And then this one says, it's a wood veneer that says, always believe something wonderful is going to happen. And then more cards I liked. These are all like prompts kind of, like on this day in December or whatever. And then this stay cozy one, I definitely want to take a photo of me knitting because I do knit beanies in the winter time. So those are just cards I thought were cute. More cards that it's all from this one kit. I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna use all of these cards, but just ones I liked that I thought were cute that I wanted to have accessible. Like currently this one I really love. Wrapping presents, eating candy canes, yada, yada, yada. And then the back side, some more cards I liked. These are some four by six cards I liked. I love this pattern. And there's those. And then this card I already have a plan for. So it says, Dear Santa. And I'm going to say, like, instead of saying, like, I want this for Christmas, I'm going to say things like, bring us together, help us find joy, make it magical, keep us healthy, remind us of the merry moments. Something like that, like a grown-up kind of wish to Santa or whatever. This would be a cute photo with Santa. I don't know if anyone in my family is going to do that, but just to have more cards just sitting out. And then this is another just full of things. So I have some more, this is like a sticker I've been having a hard time using. It's a fabric sticker and I want to use it when I'm either like crafting holiday crafts or like wrapping presents. So I have this stuff in here to like try and use it up. And then there's like a tag and some more of those vellum envelopes. And then a few pieces of paper I liked here that I thought I would include. I love this one. This is an empty page protector, another empty page protector. So this is when I get to the actual foundation pages. So this is a little something I put together and I die cut these numbers and I'm thinking it'd be like a day five story. So one through five and it's gonna be like my holiday bucket list. So I have ice skating, movies by the fire in Christmas pajamas, going to a tree farm, Christmas lights and baking. And then I also collected a few little like ephemera pieces. So these are like ice skates and there's cookies in here and holiday jammies and things like that. So I thought I would like write out, type out, whatever the bucket list item and then decorate with like ephemera that are relevant. So like comfy cozy are we for the pajamas and then twinkling lights for like decorating the tree or whatever. So that I thought was a fun thing. I like that my family celebrates Christmas and Hanukkah, so I like using blue in there as well. And I just like the idea of blue is a really pretty color and just not having everything be so red and green. The back side of it is just a piece of 12 by 12 paper I cut down and I used a stencil and some glittery white texture paste to add these stars in the background. And then this is another little foundation page I made. I really love the way this one turned out. So it's just this little card with a tree and I had this wood veneer. I put Believe on it. And then if you pull this out, it's just a red envelope. And these are um, the vellum pockets that are from Felicity Jane. So maybe I'll put like a photo and journaling or something. I don't know. But I really like the way this one turned out. And then the next one I'm also super excited about. I keep closing and opening uh this is a little like three by eight kind of pocket and there's these little index tabs on the side so if you pull it out this is a silver star vellum they're a little bit difficult to open a uh, pull out but you know we'll, we'll figure it out i would just have this vision and then this one has that snowflake paper that i love 
Ugh, it's really not user friendly. And then this one has some blue polka dot paper. Anyways, but then I have Hey Santa, Joy to the World, and Family. And then on the back side, it's white paper on the back, but maybe I'll put pictures on the back. I'm not super sure. But on the back side, it says, Remember this day always. So I thought that was cute. Uh, let me see. So, you know, some of it is more visually than like functional, but you do what you can. The other thing I realized as I was making my foundation pages is I like the idea of sticking them right into the book. So they were like together and I could see how they looked with the whole punches in them. But then I remembered that back sides and front sides, I wanted to have things that were both like designed to sit on this side and then also designed to sit on this side. So then I also started making double-sided ones. This I think is my favorite foundation page I've made so far. It's just a little like tag banner thing, like bunting. Allie did something like that with them in like a grid almost, but I did it like this and I think it's so cute. So it's just like little flip up bunting. And this is like one of the only ones I put a number on. I, I didn't, I don't have anything planned for the 14th, but I wanted to put the number on now. So I would remember that I wanted to do that basically, but I'm thinking I'll put like a photo behind this one maybe journaling and another photo. Who knows? We'll see. But I just thought it was really, really cute. And realistically, I probably shouldn't have attached it here until I got the photo figured out, but I was too excited. So there's that. And then this is kind of a repeat of something I did last year. I made the same exact folder pocket thing in my last year's album. So I wanted to do that again. So who knows what we'll put inside there. And then the back side is patterned. This is another one I'm super excited about, especially since my Alley project products arrived because I want to do a whole wreath circle thing. But this is using a little turnout. So I'm planning on putting a photo here and then we'll open up. And I want to put little things inside of all of the numbers. So this little metal turnout just holds it closed. And then this one is a this-sided one. So... Another one of those Felicity Jane pockets says Merry and Bright. And then inside of it, there's this Peace, Love, Joy card and this embossed, it's like a texture embossed white card. So again, I'll probably leave this textured alone, but then put maybe something on the back, maybe a photo. Same thing with this Peace, Love, Joy. I just liked the way it looked. And I think, I don't know, maybe I'll put a photo on the back of that as well. But I like the way that they look together in this little pocket. So anyways, there's that. And then this was actually the very first foundation page I made. So it's another one of those blue backgrounds. And these are little mini craft envelopes from Hobby Lobby. This is that first time I did my, my texture paste with silver. And you can see I kind of messed it up a little bit. It's not the end of the world. This is a little gold star brad from Michaels. And then these are tree wood veneer from Redefine Creative. So I'm thinking of using this for day three maybe. I'll probably put the number here, or maybe I'll write it there. And I want to put stuff inside. They have these little tags. Oh, I put zero, one, two, three, maybe in these. I honestly don't remember. I made this kind of a while ago. Maybe I did do that though. Did I do that? Oh, I did. So this is zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, I guess. I don't know what I'm planning on doing with that, but I have this image in my head of something where I can like when I open this, it pulls it out, but I don't know actually how I would make that or if it would work to like be able to take it all the way out, but that's just something that's in my brain. So I really like the way this came out. I love the way this powdery blue looks with the craft. And I did mix silver and gold, which does not bother me at all. And then another, this sided spread. So Allie made those little window cards and I didn't purchase them, but I thought it'd be cool. I made them myself. I just made it up in my head basically like I didn't use any sort of like template and so I used this paper to make these little window cards and I'm thinking I could add like photo on them and I already my little measurements and stuff um have the double-sided tape so they could stick down so I'm thinking I can do like this orientation like this or maybe have one open the other way or have them kind of go like that maybe, something like that. And then put like a photo and journaling or whatever behind or two photos. So I'm very excited about that. I really like the way this page turned out, even though it's like not done at all. Just the concept of it, I like a lot. 
So I'm just holding these on here with a paper clip for now because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with them yet. And they're definitely not perfect at all, but I think that someone in the December Daily Back to Basics class did a tutorial on how to make the exact kind of same thing as the window cards that Allie made using the digital kit. I, I didn't see that before I made these, but if you're wanting to do that and you have that class, you could see how they did that. And then the last things, I saw a picture of this on Pinterest and loved it. I'm a little bit bummed. It's supposed to be, it's a mitten. And I have plans to make it like a flip. So it'll be this, maybe with a number, and then I'll have a photo, and then I'll have this little background paper. I really love it. I stitched around the edge of it. Everything is cute, except for that I didn't know how to put holes in it. So I just, I should have waited. But the problem is when you put them in like this, this sticks out so much that like I think it's going to get messed up somehow. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to test it out. But I just want to make sure that this doesn't get damaged. And I probably should have done something else. I don't know what I could have done. For a second, I had an idea of what I could have done, but I don't know. But anyways, it's just sitting back here. And I also have this little pocket that I did some silver heart texture paste on to just store, I don't know, ephemera, little things. I made the pocket a little tight, but right now it's just holding my mitten. Those are all of the things I've done so far. I'm super excited about them. It'll be fun to see. I'm a little bit, I got super excited and made a bunch of stuff. And then I was like, oh my gosh, my Allie Edwards stuff hasn't even come yet. And it's October. I'm going to have nothing fun to do in December. So I kind of forced myself to stop making stuff so that I could save something fun to do in December. But now I'm not that worried about it. I think it'll still be really fun. And there's a lot of things that like I started, but like this, I have a lot of it thought out, but I really haven't done anything. And same thing with some of these foundation pages. Like, I have an idea, but I haven't done... It's not completed, so there's still plenty of things to do. But anyways, I'm super excited about it. If you have any questions about processes and things, let me know. And if you're doing December Daily, definitely let me know. I want to see everyone's stuff and get ideas and inspiration and excitement. But yeah, that is everything for today. I will catch you in the next one. And, you know, we'll be together soon to be actually making things in December. So... Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys! Hey, guys. I was just looking through the footage from the foundation page video, and I realized that I forgot one thing. So I shared this little guy in a haul video from scrapbook.com a little while back, but this is just a 4x6 craft waterfall envelope thing, and this is the other thing I worked on during the prep party over the weekend. So if you just open it up... I wanted to include one of these this year. It came in a pack of two, but I think I'm only going to do one this year. So it's just a bunch of three by four horizontal cards, and I did a little bit of embellishing. So I'm planning on putting a number on this one, and then I'll do a photo, something here, another photo, something here, another photo, and then some journaling. So I've done a little bit of decorating it so far. I'm not super sure if I'll do things on the backside or not. I haven't just, I think I'll know once I decide what story this is gonna be, but I want it to be like a collection of photos, maybe like pictures of people in my family or something. I don't know. But yeah, and then I'm also debating whether or not I'm going to put any sort of decorations on the outside. And then my plan for getting it into the album, because it is pretty bulky, is to uh, to attach it with one of these little Felicity Jane pop-ins, like an acetate. So it's like this, and this little white strip is adhesive, and I'll just like attach it like this, trim off the excess, and then this will be a good sturdy way to add it to the album, and then maybe I'll decorate the other side too, I don't know. But anyways, that was just something I thought was really fun and different, and I wanted to make sure you guys saw that. My little foundation page walkthrough and I'm going to continue working on foundation pages so I'll be sharing more of those I just wanted to give you guys a look of where I'm at so far so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you next time bye